Okay, so we're about to commence Operation Upgrade James's Mac. Yes. Um, first of all, what we're going to do today, uh, we're going to open the beast up to no doubt be um, surprised with some dust and all things nice. Um, James is a tidy boy, but nevertheless, um, <laughs> that's what you get, I suppose, for a three, four-year-old machine. Um, down here, we've got the daughter board which is housing the RAM and back here is the processor. Um, what we're going to do today is upgrade the processor, upgrade the RAM. This is actually a 2009 machine um, so it would be technically classed as a 4.1. Um, we're going to upgrade that to a 5.1 via a bit of software. Um, I'm not going to do that on camera just because it's a two second job um, and let's just get our hands dirty instead. So first things first, get the tray out um, and that's really really lovely um, yeah great remnants of me <laughs> yeah now what we've um, what we've got is a blue Peter special and it's one that we've made earlier um, just to sort of save time and give everybody a bit of a shot of exactly what happens now our balls are reconditioned, so firstly they're given a clean up, so as you can see, there's a difference there. Um, we then give it a 20 point check, we run the Apple ASD software on it, which um, in English just checks the ball for any defects and uh, makes us happy that we can apply our warranty to the ball, upgrade it and it's going to keep on doing uh, exactly what your Mac was doing before. So the new process has been put in here. Uh, James did have a 2.66 um, quad. We've now put a six core, 3.46 in. Um, so that's gonna give us probably about 35 to 40% power increase, uh, raw CPU power. Um, we've also upgraded James RAM. Uh, on the older machine it had 1066 RAM. We've now put in um, 48 gig of 1333 RAM. Um, exactly the same. Did you say 48 gig? 48 gig of RAM, yeah. So we've gone from his humble 16 um, and brought him into brought him into the new world. Um, so basically, it is just a swap out. Um, before we do that, I'm going to give this a quick. I'm going to give it a quick little dusting in there. More of James all over our lovely glass table. That's what we want. Um, okay. But you said my machine wasn't as bad as some you've seen, no, right? No, no, no. The worst always being smokers. So if you are smokers um, and you want to give us your machine, please just try and stay back from the machine. Just go in the garden, go outside the front of the studio, just go somewhere else, okay? Because they can be horrendous. Um, they really can. So that's the new board in, um, and that's it for now. So what we're going to do, we're going to whack the side door back on. Um, oh, actually, no, sorry. What we are going to do first, we're also going to fit James's new CPU, uh, GPU. Now, James has got the very humble GT120 in there, uh, 512 meg card. Um, came standard with the 2009, fine for audio and whatnot. Um, but a little bit long in the tooth now. Uh, this is a custom card that we have made. This is the NVIDIA GTX 780. So this has got three gig of RAM, a um, little bit more RAM than James has got. And it's more to the point though, and the really good bit is it's got acceleration for lots of apps. So for audio, it doesn't make a massive difference, but if you also do um, any final cut work, any Adobe work, whether it's uh, After Effects, Premiere, um, Photoshop, or if you're in DaVinci Resolve, you know, we could go on and on with apps. Uh, this is going to give you hardware acceleration as well. So as well as a, GP, a CPU acceleration, you're going to get GPU acceleration. So another kind of top tip there, um, if, if you do do more than just audio work, it is worth looking at the GPU. So in order to do this, let's move that out of the way. got 
got James's beautiful HDX card there that we're going to try not to interfere with too much, but I feel that it is going to have to come out while we just do this upgrade. It can, it can jump up a slot, I guess. There's a spare slot in there because I've got the um, UAD quad card in there, as a UAD2 quad card in there as well. Yes, yeah. So, um, yeah, we can go up one slot, that's fine. Um, you wouldn't be able to do this though, would you, if you was on uh, one of those lovely new trash cans? <laughs> You'd need to spend a couple of thousand on some expansion chassis and uh, some other boring stuff before you could even think about doing this. So that is a, a great addition. Now one thing to also bear in mind um, when you're doing this upgrade, if you are using HDX cards, um, quite important is this power cable. Now the power cable to power the card, which has got the other auxiliaries on it as well, um, does take up one of the um, ATX power sockets that's on the logic board. Now, if you've got that and you want to do the upgrade with us, always tell us at first before we start doing it because we'll have to put in a separate cable that splits the power so that you can still run the higher powered graphics cards. Not all cards need both power uh, auxiliaries, but, but some do like this GTX 780. So let us know if you do and we've got a cable that can just split the power off. Everything will work happily and still work fine. Uh, but nevertheless, that does need to be done first, so just bear in mind. I'm pretty sure that cable actually only runs the fans as well. Yeah, I think that's that's literally all it does. Um, but nevertheless, if you haven't got that cable, then it's not going to boot because the car's just not going to do anything. So, in go the power cables. Quick little dust off again because it's just so lovely and clean in here. <laughs> Don't worry, you at home as well will also get this uh, this star treatment if your machine comes into us. Okay, I personally will happily do it. So. In goes the GTX 780. In goes the HDX card. The HDX card will actually still fit above. Um, it depends how tight you are for space in your Mac Pro. Obviously, if you've got multiple UAD cards, if you've got a USB 3.0 card, if you've got a internal other sound card you know there's a million different configurations that you can obviously do with a, the classic Mac Pro so um, you've just got to bear in mind you've only got four slots to work with and the tricky bit here you're just getting them all to happily sit in there <laughs> I'm glad it's not just me who had that problem no 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 you're not the only one <laughs> There it is. Thing of beauty. A thing of beauty, yes. Now I've got a few more cards to put in here, so um, I'm gonna get those done. I'm gonna get them cabled, but as you can see, we've got one PCI slot here. Um, we'll get the door on, and then next up we can, uh, we can power it up and see all the amazing improvements. So first off then, um, as I said, 3.46 processor. 6 core, we've upgraded that from um, a 2.66 quad uh, from 2009. So if you've got one of those systems and you was uh, getting a little bit worried that it's you know a bit long in the tooth and that you really need some more DSP power and whatnot, um, this is gonna give that to you straight away. Uh, one thing worth pointing out though is if you've got one of these or even if you've got an eight core system, um, it can be upgraded all the way to a 3.46 12 core. Um, that is effectively 5% slower than a 2.7 2013 trash can Mac Pro, the new small cylinder uh, that costs six and a half grand. Um, the, 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 the whole upgrade wouldn't cost you more than about sort of 17, 1800 pounds from us. 
So that's quite a big save in there. Um, you're going to get to keep all your PCIe slots, all your hard drive bays, um, all the lovely stuff that you love in your Mac Pro Tower. Um, so that's what we've done down here. We've also obviously upgraded the RAM and it's a slightly faster 1333 RAM. Um, maximum RAM you can also put into the classic Mac Pro is 128 gig. Um, 64 gig on the new trash can. So you can actually put more RAM in the older one, which is another great little thing, especially if you run massive east-west libraries, VSL, um, any kind of rompers uh, that, that just want loads and loads and loads of RAM. Um, that's a good one. Next up, uh, we've upgraded James's GPU. We've put in the GTX 780 three gigabyte card. It's a custom card that, um, that, that we sell. That's gonna give you acceleration in all your Adobe apps, uh, lots of post apps such as Final Cut, um, Premiere. It will also give you better results with grading apps such as um, DaVinci Resolve, um and um oh blimey what's the one that's in uh with final cut um what's it called james no idea <laughs> color oh, is it oh, color color, yeah. color yes yeah, there yeah. you go sorry yeah so um you know that that also is just really as i pointed out earlier really worth thinking about that if you do not just audio but you do video or you know even if it's light work um, I know James was saying that the, the GT120 was even making just doing a title in a Final Cut thing that you guys are probably watching now was a real pain. So even simple stuff, just upgrading the graphics card can, can really help out. Um, also with that, we've got all these lovely PCIe slots that aren't available in the new Mac Pro at all unless you buy an external expansion chassis which you know is adding yet more money and more more tentacles or legs to your trash can Mac Pro um, so in James's case he's got a UAD Octo card in there he's also got a HDX card you may have a red rocket card with video you may have an RME sound card there's there's so many pcie cards out there um that this is it's kind of imperative for some people to have those slots um all that works exactly the same as it did beforehand uh before we did any upgrades nothing changes um even when you open your software it will just simply see faster processors and more ram um you, you're not actually changing anything software wise so there's no downtime and that's really important for, for especially very busy studios. If you've got a lot on, um, we can get the upgrade done within sort of 48 hours or if you even drop into one of our offices, uh, we can do it even quicker as we have for James today. So that's, uh, that's, that's really about it. Um, there's loads of other stuff that you can do with the Mac Pro. Um, I won't bore you all with it now. Uh, but no. We'll talk about that generally, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, there you go. Excellent.